y'all doing this morning man y'all know the drill i know that we early this morning i know we early this morning y'all i really just got up i wasn't planning on doing a live today because y'all know i'm getting ready to leave for out of town your coach will be on you know i'm on tour with the mastermind tour and i will be leaving you know what i'm saying so i got to get all my stuff together just got you know what i'm saying had to make sure i get my nails done all of that stuff getting all my pampering out of the way so i wasn't planning on doing a live today or you know what i'm saying i'm not going to be on schedule this week because of traveling so y'all know i won't be doing a live on friday wasn't planning on doing a live today but um anyway that's neither here nor there and i'm only going to be on for a few minutes but i wanted to say something real quick y'all know every time i say i'm not going to be live i end up live anyway because it'd be things that just be bothering me you know what i'm saying it'd be things that i feel like i really need to um address y'all see y'all got me freshly up too girl i'm over here at this um lash appointment i gotta get these lashes filled in i gotta get my earrings man i ain't, I ain't even ready I ain't ready fresh out the gym got up earlier this morning man i was like man let me get up early let me start this day early let me get all my morning routine done let me handle all this business let me get this um get it get my bag pack got to go pick up the merch for the uh tour so your coach is really really busy but i wanted to stop in and say this to y'all real quick only because i keep hearing it over and over and over in different coaching sessions number one i want you to understand something like i said this won't be no one of our, um what about uh, i'm sorry y'all you know man if you want to pay patreon you good because i've been posting our videos one hour videos i've been posting our videos inside the patreon all week so those of you that are used to listening to my videos that are motivated by it and y'all like i need my daily dose all you have to do is make sure you're in my patreon and i upload a hour video inside the patreon every single day so right now you know what i mean they got they got plenty of stuff inside the patreon videos and whatnot that they can go to and you can if you're in the patreon you can also inbox me from there but one of the things that i wanted to say this morning real quick was this right here you gotta stop expecting people to be okay with your broken state and i know that might come as a shock to some people because we're not used to having that type of conversation and we're not used to people holding us accountable for for stuff like that but at the end of the day you got to understand that a lot of times we be out here and we be asking people to put up with things that we know for a fact that we wouldn't put up with if you know for a fact that you wouldn't put up with a person being broken or a person going through certain things in life and you're not going to tolerate certain type of behavior it it, it, it baffles me at the fact that we expect other people to put up with it we we expect other people to be cool with things that we ourselves know that we won't be cool with you gotta stop expecting people to be okay with your drama to be okay with your your past history of things that you got going on you gotta wake up and you gotta understand that at one point or another sweetheart you're gonna have to grow you're gonna have to heal you're gonna have to evolve you're gonna have to let that pain go and to constantly ask somebody to be okay with you being broke broken or to be okay with the fact that you got these different things going on based on stuff that have happened to you in your past baby that's unfair you know what i'm saying and that's a fact that's that it's unfair it's unfair to ask somebody to be cool with hold on one second y'all i'm trying to get on the right page y'all know why i mess up on, on instagram in a minute i didn't i didn't went live on the wrong page on instagram i'm sorry but yeah you you gotta you gotta stop asking people to be okay and to be cool with things that you know for a fact that you yourself, you wouldn't be okay with that. You wouldn't be cool with that. You don't want nobody to talk to you like that. You don't want nobody to in and out your life like that. You don't want nobody to, to handle you a certain type of way, but then you want them to be cool with your type of behavior. And that's just not how it works. That's not how it works. You People do not have to accept you flaws and all. Let's just be real about it. People do not have to accept you flaws and all. And for you to think that that's normal behavior for you to think that that's okay for you to think that people should be making excuses or making accommodations for you being broken or you being hurt or you being lied to or you being betrayed or you being let down in certain situations for you to think that it's okay for you to be broken and these people are supposed to accept that and tolerate the fact that you're responding to your current situation through your past trauma for you to think that that's okay for them to have to put up with baby that's crazy yeah i'm gonna take this jacket off you might because I, I, I can't help it i just gotta be i gotta tell the truth about it and i know that 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 might that might 
piss some people off. And I know that some folk might not might not like that because you know what I'm saying you want to always make it somebody else's responsibility. You want to always make it somebody else's priority. You know what I'm saying for whatever it is that's going on in your life. You want other people to fix it. You want other people to own up to it. You want other people to give you the closure. You want other people to answer to this and answer to that. You want to hold everybody accountable for what it is that you're feeling in your life but you. No, at the end of the day, this is your life. This is your responsibility. At the end of the day, this is your job, your own priority. You have got to fix yourself. You have got to do the necessary work on yourself. Stop asking people to accept you flaws and all. That is unfair. Send me some love. Send me some love. Double tap on my screen, man. Send me some love. Send me some love. Send me some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me some love. Send me some love. IG, y'all go ahead. Send me a badge or two. Uh, tick that. There you go. I see the roses coming. Let's just be real about the situation. A lot of times we go outside of our way and we want people to be cool with things that we know for a fact that we won't be cool with. We want people to treat us a certain type of way and we're not willing to treat them with that same type of level of respect. Y'all want people to do this, this, and that and go outside of their way you want them to bend over backwards but then when it's time for you to give them that same love that same respect and when it's time for you to be doing the same thing to reciprocate that energy you struggling you struggling way too much and then a lot of y'all want to use the excuse well you know i never really had to do that before and everybody this and everybody that sometimes you got to stand 10 toes to the ground and let folk know well i'm not everybody hello somebody everybody else might have been living a life with no boundaries that's not me everybody else might be willing to give you and give you and do for you and do for you but that's not me everybody else might let you walk them like a dog but that won't be me everybody else might let you in and out of their life however you see fit or only when it's beneficial to you but that won't be me when it got something to do with me I want you to understand that it's all about reciprocation don't ask me to do what you're not willing to do don't ask me to give what you're not willing to give don't ask me to make sacrifices that you yourself already know that you will not make for me you got to understand that the days of us Making deposits into people's lives that only want to make withdrawals from us is over. Put that in your notes right now. Some of y'all right now, yeah, 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 y'all need to be sending me some badges right now on IG. Let's just be real about it, because some of y'all just did that today. Some of y'all been, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Some of y'all been doing that already. Y'all been having the same conversation in circles. Come on, TikTok, bless me up. Go ahead, bless me up. Double tap on the screen. Some of us, some of us right now, been having the same conversation with an individual over and over. You done gave them chance after chance after chance. You have been begging them to get it right. You have been begging them to understand. You done went so far as every single time that it actually happens you done went outside of your way to check it right then and there you done brought it to their attention right then and there this is what i'm talking about you done pointed it out right when it was happening so that they can see that you're not making it up but the problem come in is that you're pointing it out to them so they can see exactly what it is that they're doing to you you have pointed it out to them so you can show them exactly how they're hurting you but i'm gonna let you know what the problem is if you want to know what the problem is i want y'all to put we ready in the comment section real quick yeah we didn't turn this right here. This was supposed to have been just me doing a little, little, little talk right now. We done turned it into a whole live. Hello, somebody. Double tap on the screen. Send me some love. That's right. Share the video. If you got somebody in your life that you know for a fact, sis, you over there giving more than what you're getting. You're making sacrifices for folk that ain't willing to make them sacrifices for you. If you tired of having that conversation with your bestie and you've been trying to tell them this but did not know how to formulate the words, go ahead and tap them in real quick. Go ahead and touch them real quick. Reach out to that person that's in the back that ain't paying attention. Tell them tap in right now she about to tell you what it is that we've been doing wrong she about to tell us right now what it is that we need to tighten up she about to get us all the way together this morning go ahead and tap them in real quick the thing about it is you will go outside of your way to prove that point, to let them know exactly how they got you messed up, you will go outside of your way to let it be known this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm saying, this right here, when you're acting this way right here, this is what I, this is right here, you're pointing it out so that they cannot deny it, you're pointing it out so that they can't lie about it, you're pointing it out so that they can't say, oh yeah, well, I don't do that and it ain't this, but guess what, the problem come in is this right here, when they disrespect you, you still allow them to have the access, mm-hmm 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all said y'all was ready. Y'all said y'all was ready, so I gave it to you. Y'all said y'all was ready, so I gave it to you. Double tap on the screen. Y'all said y'all was ready, so I gave it to you. You gotta understand that when, yeah, 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 you still staying connected to them after they disrespect you is the crazy part. You still allowing them to have that same type of access to you after they have exposed their hand to you is the crazy part. You sitting over there still running after them after you've already showed them how they are belittling, how they're slandering, how they're humiliating you, how they're walking you like a dog, how they are inconsistent in your life, how they are up and down. One minute they're hot, they're cold. You have shown them countless times how they are making you feel, but the problem come in at is that you're still giving them the same access to you. You got to understand that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get the same version of me twice. Mm -mm. Yeah, go do that, babe. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That right there was for somebody right there. Babe, go pick up your phone because I know you threw a slam across the room. Go get your phone real quick. Yeah, go get your phone real quick. Yeah, and they, they get upset with you about that. Go pick your phone up real quick. You got, you, you're not going to get the same version of me twice. You're not going to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the part right there. They think that they can walk you like a dog. They think that they can disrespect you. They think that they can go outside of their way to destroy you on every hand. And guess what? Even though I'm tearing you apart left and right, they start to think that, oh, yeah, but I still still have access to you. You should still love me. You should still want to be with me. You should still crave me. You should still run in behind me. The devil is alive. Once you hurt a person, you got to understand that pain changes people. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to wait on y'all because y'all act like, yeah, this the morning crowd. I get it. This the morning crowd. My 10 o'clock people ain't got here just yet. Good morning, Dessa. How you doing? My my, 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 my people ain't got up this morning just yet. So I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. So y'all right here, y'all ain't struggling with this. This ain't y'all issue. I get it. Those of you that know where I'm coming from, if that's your confirmation, if that right there is your motivation, if you've been struggling with that and you know for a fact that you're giving more than you're getting, say ouch and send a gift. If you know for a fact that you're bending over backwards and making constantly sacrifices for individuals that will not make those same exact sacrifices for you, go ahead and say ouch and send a badge. If you know for a fact that there's been times in your life where you didn't ask folk, oh, I want you to accept me flaws and all. I want you to tolerate my negative behavior. I want you to put up with me and my brokenness. I want you to put up with me and my trauma. I want you to come over here and help fix me. If you know for a fact that that's you and coaches all up in your house, go ahead and bless me up real quick. Yeah, you might as well say ouch and send a badge. Mm hmm. Yeah, be in them situations. You want somebody to do this and somebody to do that. No, ma'am, no, sir. That's not my job. That's not my job. That's not my responsibility. One thing that I'm not going to let you do, I'm not going to let you dump on me. You're not going to do that. I am not. Yeah, you won't dump on me. I understand that you got struggles in your life. I do too. I understand that you got some things that have happened to you that you're not a pr that you're not proud of. I understand that you done made some bad decisions. I understand that you done been through hell in high water. But guess what? We all have. We all got a struggle. We all got a past. We all got something that we are coming back from and just because you're broken right now does not mean that you're going to be broken forever just because you're going through hell and high water right now does not mean that you're going to go through hell and high water forever you got to understand that my current situation is not the end of me my current situation my current heartbreak my current struggles my current tears that I'm crying right now I'm not going to feel like this always baby you got to understand that it's up to you to shake back it's up to you to heal yourself it's up to you to say you know what enough is enough it's up to you to say that you know what let me establish some boundaries in my life right now I'm not in a position to love you right now I'm not in a position to give you what it is that you need right now I'm not in a position to be the man or the woman that you want or that you deserve so let me get up out of your happily ever after way that's right some of y'all holding up somebody else's spot yeah, I, I get it. That right there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Y'all got some, yeah, somebody warming up somebody's seat. Somebody warming up somebody's seat. You got a temporary person and you're happily ever after seat. Baby, you gonna have to get up out they seat, sweetheart. That's right. I need to sanitize that thing. You gonna have to get up out they seat, sweetheart. Some of y'all are over there playing nice to get along. Some of y'all are over there settling for less than what you deserve. Some of y'all over there don't want to rock the boat. Some of y'all over there and y'all looking at your life and you're thinking, well, if I love them more, if I come through for them more. If I accept this and I accept that, then guess what? That'll change the situation. That'll fix this individual. And that's not how it works. And it goes both ways. It's the reason why I'm saying it both ways because it goes both ways. They can't fix you and you cannot fix them. 
yeah that's a note for somebody all by yeah that's it that's the one right there you can't fix them and they can't fix you that's yeah yeah this ain't no group project right here this ain't go yeah this ain't no group project right here i tell y'all that every week baby this ain't no group project you over there you want them to fix you but they gotta fix they self you want them to come through for you and give you things that they're not even in a position to give to they self they struggling in the love themselves they struggling with their own purpose they're struggling with things that they got going on in their own life and your expectation is that they love you for hours and all that they love you in spite of you instead of you taking the time that you need to step away to step back to step away to really focus on you and your development to step back and step away to really start doing the necessary work to step back and step away to go over there to lay your own demons to rest to go down over there and cut down your own generational curses you're making it somebody else's priority you're making it somebody else's responsibility you're giving that load to somebody else and what i'm telling you today is that's not your cross to carry that's not your burden to bear that's not your issue that's not your assignment that's not your project stop trying to fix everybody else and worry about self you gotta worry about yourself yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. What you trying to tell me, coach? It's okay for you to be selfish in this season. Yeah, it's okay for you to be selfish in this season. It it, it really and truly is, baby. Mm -hmm. All of us deserve a selfish season. All of us deserve a selfish season. Hello, somebody. Yeah, some people are not going to get it. Some people are not going to understand. Some people are going to be pissed off by it. Some people are going to say that you're doing the most. Some people are not going to be on board. They are not going to approve of what it is that you're doing for yourself. And guess what? That's also all right. Everybody's not going to understand it. That's right. Put that inside of your notes real quick. Put it in your notes. It's okay for you to be. Yeah, yeah. It's everybody needs a selfish season everybody need a selfish season you know what i mean it's, it's it's a selfish season why because i gotta replenish my own cup i gotta yeah i gotta reset i gotta reprioritize and i gotta replenish my own life what you gotta do i gotta reset my life that's right i gotta reset what you mean coach baby i'm in a position in my life where i have walked myself like a dog so much and have belittled myself so much have neglected myself so much have not tapped into my gifts have not tapped into my purpose have not made me a priority in my life for so long that coach I don't even know who I am I don't even recognize myself I don't even know what my purpose is because I've been so busy trying to help everybody else come through for everybody else be everything for everybody else that I didn't lost myself coach you gotta reset you gotta replenish yeah, yeah, you, you, you got to. You got to reset. What you mean? You got to start over. I'm starting all the way over, baby. I'm starting all the way over. Don't worry about me. I understand. I know I, I'm starting all the way over. I got, yeah, I can reset as many times as I need to. Why do you say reset, coach? Because what, what I was over here doing? Oh, baby, that ain't gonna work right now. That was working, that was working while I was broken, but that's not gonna work right now. That was working when I didn't have any standards, but it ain't gonna work right now. That was working right, that was right there. That was working when I did not know my worth, when I wasn't self-aware when I didn't know what I was bringing to this table when I didn't know how I was set up that right there was working but this new version of me is going to be something different so I'm about to reset and that's right anytime that you reset it's basically saying hey you know what this ain't giving what it said that it was gonna give this ain't giving what it's supposed to have gave baby that's right so what I'm gonna do I'm moseying right on back over here I'm gonna have to reset it's not doing what it's supposed to have done when you say replenish coach what are you saying when you're telling us you want us to replenish i want you to re-educate yourself why do you say that coach because sometimes you gotta unlearn some of the things that you thought that you knew go get your phone because i know you threw it mm -hmm. Grab you a shoe, cause I want you to throw the shoe. Cause I yeah, 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 yeah. Some 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 of yeah, that was it for you right there. That was it for some folk. It's some folk right now that's like, you know what? That right there, that was the one. That was the one. See, we thought that we knew it. We thought that we knew it. We thought that we had what it took to, to, to make it happen. We gotta go over there. We gotta replenish, which means we gotta re-educate ourselves. We gotta start opening up these self-help books. We gotta start listening to the motivational speaking and not just listening to it to become excited for that moment, not just listening to it. 
so that we can get through our day, not just listening to it so that we can take notes and just leave the notes in the book, but we got to start listening to it with an open mind. We got to start listening to it and taking the notes and applying the notes to our life. We got to start listening to it. And once we listen to it, we got to start uh, over there aligning our life with the one that we see in our mind. See, the thing about this thing is manifesting is intentionally creating, which means I'm intentionally creating this woman that I'm making right now. I got to wrap up, make sure that I'm pouring in the right ingredients. I got to make sure that, yeah, yeah, I got to pour in the right ingredients. What I was feeding my old self will not work over here with my new self, with the person that I'm creating right now. So I'm not listening with to motivational speaking and ministry. I'm not getting into the webinars and the conferences. I'm not showing up to the empowerment events with the same type of vision, with the same type of lens or the same type of vision that I was before. Now when I come, oh yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I got, I, yeah, I'm a little bit different. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit different when, yeah, yeah, come on, double tap on the screen. I'm a little bit different. I'm, I'm, I'm showing up a little bit. If you showing up in your life a little bit different, send me some love real quick. If you showing up in your life and you showing up a little, I'm showing up a little bit different. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you used to me walking around and whispering to folk, but I'm showing up different. I know you used to me behaving like a coward, like I was afraid, like I wasn't sure about myself, but I'm showing up a little bit different. I know that you're used to me not having boundaries, not having standards and allowing people to say, and do whatever they want to do and not just mosey on alone. I don't say nothing because I don't want to rock the boat. Don't want to piss nobody off. Don't want to make nobody feel no certain type of way. Don't want to put nobody in their bag, but I'm showing up a little bit different these days. Hello, somebody. If you know for a fact that you're declaring it over your life, that this is my season to show up differently for me, I want you to send me some love. Send me some love. Send me some love. Send me some love real quick. Send me some love. If you know for a fact that that's you, send me some love. Send me some love. I'm showing up a little bit different in my life, coach. I'm showing up I'm showing up a little bit different in my life right now. Hello, somebody. And you got to understand that you owe this to yourself. This right here is about self. You cannot expect for folk to, to come over there and tell you, hey, you know what? You really need to work on yourself. You can't expect for folk to come over there and say, you got low self-esteem. You can't expect for folk to come over there and say, you need to work on your confidence you can't expect for folk to say you got to work on this and work on that because these people are not going to tell you that so when you say i want you to accept me flaws and all when you say that i want you to accept me <clears throat> excuse me even in my broken state when you're telling them that you want them to accept you in these different type of ways i want you to understand that they are not going to push you to heal they're not going to push you to grow they're not going to push you to evolve they're not going to push you to these things these positive things that you need in your life why because they benefit from you being broken that's the reason why they play like it's okay yeah, that right there was an eye opener for yeah, yeah. That, I thank y'all. I see the gifts coming, man. <laughs> thank y'all, TikTok. I appreciate y'all. Oh, okay, they go a bash right there. Thank you, Sheen. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all almost at 200k. Y'all got 156. Let's go. Double tap on that screen. You know what I mean? And, and listen, I'd be happy anytime that we do an improv uh, uh, type of live and y'all jump on and y'all start double tapping and sending love, man. It's a blessing to me. It, it really and truly is. Thank y'all so much, man. Y'all going crazy up here. Double tap on the screen, man. TikTok. I appreciate y'all. Almost at 200. K. What's going on, IG? We got 20 badges right now, so y'all are doing amazing because, like I said, I'm not even supposed to be live right now, so for y'all to be tapping in the way that y'all are, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, they're not going to they not gonna tell you to fix yourself. They're not going to tell you to heal. They're not going to tell you to grow. They're not going to encourage you to do so. Want me to tell you why? They're not going to do that because they benefit from you being broken. They benefit from you not having standards. They benefit from you not having boundaries in your life. So why in the world would you think that they're going to encourage you to do anything? Thing. Why do you think that they're going to push you to read that book? That's the last thing that they want you to do. Most of the time, if you, do, yeah, 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 you got to understand that people perish from lack of knowledge. All you got to do is open up the book. All you got to do is turn on the audio. All you got to do is listen to the videos and apply the notes. They don't want you to do that and they get upset when you start doing certain things that step out of your normal. They get up out of there and they get upset with you because they know that the more that you work on yourself, the more that you work on your healing, your growth, expanding your, your education expanding your vocabulary expanding your mind and picking up new skills new techniques oh baby they know they already know the impact that it's gonna have on their life it ain't that they don't want you to learn it's just that they don't want you to change on them they're not concerned about you they're concerned about them they concerned about how it's going to impact them if you start knowing your worth you ain't gonna want me 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that I know that pissed somebody off. They get they got up under somebody's skin just now. If y'all got y'all phone turned up and y'all laying next to them, I know they just got mad. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you in that relationship and you already know that this has been going on in your relationship and you've been questioning them whether or not they love you or not, whether or not they want to be there with you or not, whether or not they want that they, they like that relationship, love that relationship, want that family with you or not. If you've been questioning that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this while you got the volume turned all the way up. Cause I know how they dislike me. They can't stand for me to go live. They can't stand for y'all to tune into the lives. Oh, there you go listening to her again. Only thing she gonna do is tell you to let us go. Only thing she gonna do is try to make you seem like you right. The only thing that she gonna do is this, this, and that. Oh yeah, they got all type. They got every excuse up under the sun as to why they don't want you to listen to me. But the truth of the matter is, and, and it's okay. Understand that I understand that I irritate those. Yeah, yeah, I irritate those demons that they carry. I irritate that part of them that lets them know that oh yeah if she keep listening to her oh yeah i ain't gonna be able to talk to her crazy if she keep listening to her then i ain't gonna be able to walk her like a dog if she or he keep listening to this right here then guess what eventually if they stay around that their fire long enough they yeah yeah they gonna tap into it if they stay around it long enough they gonna start picking it up and before you know it they gonna say you you sound just like that lady you be listening to you sound just like that lady you always turning on you sound just like that lady that you went to that conference to see. You sound just like that lady. Now every time you walk around somewhere, you telling folk your disconnect is top tier. Now every time you go somewhere, you telling folk all I need is me, baby. Understand that now your confidence is through the roof. Now you think you better than everybody. Understand that, yeah, and you're better. That's right, because you ain't sitting up under me for nothing, baby. You ain't connected to me for nothing. We ain't doing all this work for nothing. You doggone right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I let folk think whatever they want to think, baby. But your disconnect is supposed to be top tier. Hello, somebody. And you let them know right now today Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I understand that you don't want me to grow You don't want me to evolve You don't want me to know my worth You don't want me to know what I bring to the table Because that's your own benefits Because you don't want to interrupt What it is that I do for you You don't want me to cut off that access to you Because you know like I know That you don't deserve me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want y'all to tap in. Yeah, yeah. If you know for a fact, coach, you ain't lying right now. And you know what? That's exactly what my problem is. That's exactly what my problem is. I'm over here connected to an individual that I know for a fact that don't even deserve me. Talk to me, IG. Talk to me, IG. If that's been your biggest struggle and you keep always finding yourself in a relationship with somebody that cannot reciprocate your energy, send me a badge right quick. Say ouch and send a badge. TikTok, I want to talk to y'all real quick. Let me tell you something. If you over there and you know for a fact that you've been making sacrifices at the sacrifice after sacrifice for an individual that will not return that energy if you going outside of your way to please that individual and you done bent over backwards so far that the top of your head is scrubbing the ground right now i want you to do me a favor and you know that that's for you and that's your confirmation and all you needed was for coach to get up this morning and tell you to get back in position to get back in alignment i need for you to say ouch and send a gift real quick i need y'all to double tap on my screen i see the badges coming through thank y'all so much oh baby no thank you i appreciate Appreciate you. Hello, somebody. Yeah, that's right. You say ouch and send a badge. That's all you got to do. At the end of the day, you got to understand that you owe this to yourself. A lot of us are running out the folk that we got to help. A lot of us is going outside of our way. We're sad. We're depressed. We're stressed out. Having one panic attack after another panic attack about an individual that don't even deserve us. An individual that if we step back and step away and get up out of their life, baby, yeah, 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 we'll really see who was bringing what to the table. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I, 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 I know that going to make you mad, but yeah. You'll really see. <laughs> you, 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 you'll really see. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll really see the moment that you step. Yeah, you'll, you'll really see. See, sometimes you gotta understand. You gotta let some folk know. You gotta look at them eyeball to eyeball, and you gotta say this right here to them. You, you know what? You, you, you really played with me. You really played with me. But you gonna feel that in your chest. You really, you really played with me, but you about to feel that in your chest. Some folk right now, they didn't play with you so much that baby, the moment that you step back and you step away and that you really start doing what you need to do to heal yourself, to correct your bad behavior, to put you back in alignment. Oh baby, they going to feel that right there in their chest. Their chest going to be heavy and that's going to be you. Them shoulders going to get real tight, but that right there is you. See, some folk won't know what it is that you bring to their life and to your exit. They won't respect what it is that you've done in the sacrifice 
sacrifice that you made until you stop making them. They won't understand how much of a blessing that you really were to them until you pull back your hand. Because some of these folks that you so in love with, you in love with their heart, but they in love with your hand. Hello, somebody. That's a red ink pen note right there. Baby, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get my lashes done, but y'all go, y'all gonna make me cut up and I'm trying not to cut up because I don't even supposed to be live right now and I know that we're in different time zone and some of y'all are just not getting up. It might be two or three o'clock in the morning where y'all at and y'all like, wait a minute, why is coach live? Wait a minute, why she lit up like this? Wait a minute, what's going on? The truth of the matter is just that. Hello, somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. You played with me and now you're gonna feel it in your chest. You played with me and watch where, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gotta, I ain't gonna go outside my way to try to hurt you. Nothing to go outside my way to try to reciprocate that negative energy. Not about to get on your level. Not about to do none of that. I'm just gonna let you watch me love somebody the way that I was trying to love you. I'm just gonna let you watch me win. I'm just gonna let you watch me be happy. I'm gonna let you watch me be great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you watch me be successful. I'm going to let you watch me have all the things, yeah, 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 with somebody else or by myself that I was trying to have for you, with, with you. Sometimes you got to let folks see for themselves what time it is. I'm going to let you see for yourself. I'm all, yeah, yeah, I'm going to let you see. I, yeah, I see better than I hear any day, baby. I'm going to let you see for yourself, baby. Yeah, I tried to let you win with me, but now you're going to have to watch me win. That's right. You tried to play with me, and now you're going to feel it in your chest. When your chest get heavy, oh, baby, that's me. When them shoulders get real tight around the neck area, oh, baby that's that stress and that anxiety setting in because see when I was over there with you and I was trying to help you and I was trying to let you know what time it was and I was trying to build us an empire you act like you didn't understand you act like you couldn't be on board and every time I'm trying to tell you about us reading about us fasting about us um, meditating about us doing anything that's going to be beneficial to us you did what you brushed it off you act like I was irritating you act like I was doing too much you act like it didn't require all of that so now what I'm going to do is this right here i'm going to separate myself from you all together now what i'm going to do is i'm going to mosey right on alone now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my time my energy and my effort that i was putting into trying to fix things with you now i'm going to be worried about fixing things with myself because you got to wake up every single day and understand that you cannot make excuses for being broken you cannot make excuses for being down bad you cannot make excuses for behaving a certain type of way and saying that this is how it's always been done and this is how everybody have done it in my family is no longer acceptable you cannot ask somebody to accept you falls and all you cannot accept for other people to come in and tolerate your broken behavior you cannot accept for other people to come in and be okay with things that they know for a fact is not okay it's not okay Y'all put it in the y'all put it in the comment. Oh, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. I'm not being okay with things. That's not okay. It's not okay. Hello, somebody. It's not okay. It's not okay. I understand that you got to struggle, but that's not okay. I don't have to accept that. I understand that your mother didn't hug you enough, but that yeah, I, 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 that ain't got nothing to do with me. I understand that your father wasn't there, and that ain't got nothing to do with me. I understand that you got some let down, some betrayals, and some of your friends did you dirty, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. You will not be able to come into my life and. Just simply dump your weight on me. I'm not accepting that. And I'm not going to dump my weight on you. So what are you saying, coach? I'm saying that you have got to do your self-work. You have got to make yourself your excitement. You could not be out here making excuses for why you are broken. When you identify the fact that you got some hang-ups, when you identify the fact that you got some issues in your life that need to be corrected, when you identify the fact that, yeah, you know what? Sometimes I, I do get out of pocket. Sometimes I do say things that I shouldn't. Sometimes I do overstep some boundaries. Sometimes I'm this, sometimes I'm that. You owe it to yourself to make the proper corrections. You owe it to yourself to step up to the plate and handle your business like an adult. You should not be out here trying to dump your ish on other folk. That's not their responsibility to fix. Not their burden to carry. Not their cross, baby. Understand, not my circus, not my clown. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You can't raise a man. And I ain't trying to raise him. No man or woman, baby. Can't raise him. Not my job. Not my job. You're going to go take, gonna have to take that up with your mama, baby. You're going to have to go fix that with your mama. That ain't my job to fix you. That ain't my job to raise you. Not at all, sweetheart. If you got hangups in your life and things that you know that you need to go fix, I suggest that you go over there and handle your business. When you over there struggling in life and you know for a fact that your savings ain't saved up the way that you needed to be saved up, when you know for a fact... <clears throat> 
that it's things that you want to handle in your life, then that's your job, your responsibility to step out and do those things. One of the things that I say all the time is handle you before trying to connect with me or handle you before trying to connect with anybody. Handle your adult business first. Yeah, you ain't got no savings at all. Don't know if you coming or going. Ain't got no stable place to stay. None of that. But you talking about a boo-boo, a bun-bun. You got all this self-work that you need to be working on for yourself. And you concerned about a connection with other folk. You want to go lay up with somebody. You concerned about having a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. When you ain't even a good person to yourself. How you going to try to go get together when you ain't together? That, that's what I should have called this video. But I wasn't even trying to have, I wasn't trying to do no live. I was just trying to come on here and do, you know what I'm saying, a little story time. But then y'all be making me go into a whole live video every time I try to do a story time with y'all. Y'all make it turn into a whole video. Look what you done did. You know what I'm saying? Look what you done did. Y'all almost had 300K on TikTok. Y'all over here sending gifts and everything else y'all be y'all do that to me every time i'll be like i'm gonna come on here for a minute and then y'all are turning into something else but yeah yeah how you gonna try to get together when you ain't together hello somebody yeah go ahead and put it in the notes we taking notes at this point we got notes at this point yeah it, it went from a whole story time to a whole video don't even worry about it. this happened with us all the time i just need to understand if you ain't together how you gonna get together with somebody else how does that work sweetheart it don't the reason why you're going through what you're going through is because here you are over here here trying to force something trying to make something with somebody when you're already broken you're already broken you're already down bad you already got low self-esteem you already got low confidence you already got brokenness within yourself if you go over here and you attach yourself to somebody what's about to happen i'm about to put your own game real quick just consider this free game what's going to happen is the moment that you step over there with them with your broken self because, you know, I'm going to make it plain. Once you get over there with them with your broken self, when you know that your self-esteem ain't right, you ain't got no boundaries, you over there just living life and allowing whatever to happen to happen, I want you to understand that them people smell that on you. Them people smell and see that all over you. I want you to understand that they smell and they see that all over you. They see that, oh, yeah, she's vulnerable. Oh, yeah, she just going through something. Oh, yeah, he just got out of a relationship. Oh, they got this issue and that issue. And I want you to understand that people identify that with you way before you even open up your mouth and they come running right on over there and here you are sitting over there doing this right here talking too much what you doing coach they talking too much sharing too much over there you thinking that you're telling them things about your life and that that so because you thinking that they're on your side so here you are expressing how you feel here you are going over there being open and being honest and being transparent and guess what they about to do they about to do you 10 times worse than the other person they about to use every single thing that you just said all the way against you hello somebody that's right they about to use every single situation that you didn't opened up with them about every single thing that you didn't told them they about to twist and turn and manipulate that situation to hold that against you every piece of your past that you just shared with them they about to oh yeah yeah they about to throw that in your face every single thing that you shared with them that you was embarrassed about that you was ashamed of that you hadn't taken care of that you haven't laid to rest guess what about to happen right now as soon as they get in their little feelings as soon as you don't do what they want you to do as soon as you don't respond the way that they want you to respond they're gonna take whatever information that you just gave them in confidence when you was over there pillar talking they gonna come right over there and throw it in your face to try to control the situation to try to shut you up to try to make you feel less than to try to make you feel inferior you gotta be careful with what you share with folk because the the same folk that you sit over there and you pour your heart out to, the same ones that you sit over there and you become open with, will take that same information and they will dangle it over your face. Oh yeah, I can control you with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a fact. That's a fact right there. What's going on, Leandria? And that's a fact. How y'all? Good morning to you. How y'all doing? I want you. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. So here you are now over there and you at their mercy. Here you are now over there being their puppet and they're your puppet master. They dangling your past over your face. They dangling your past hurt, your past pain, your past betrayal, things that you put up with. They dangling over your face. They, oh yeah, well, if you do this, then I'm going to throw up that. Baby, that's why I tell you every single video to do what? You got to let folk know up in their face. Ain't nothing that you can tell about me that I can't tell. Ain't nothing that you can expose about me 
that I don't, I, I don't even care. I let whoever think whatever, feel whatever. It goes how, baby. Let it go how it's gonna go. Because when you've been solid, when you've been faithful, when you've been loyal, when you done made your words match your action, you don't worry about what other folk think. You don't worry about what they feel. You don't worry about how they, what conversation is happening that you're not involved in. You don't concern yourself with that. You let folk think and feel whatever they want to think and feel and you don't work, go, go over there and try to clear up nothing. Baby, I'm not clearing up nothing. Hello, somebody. I'm not clearing up nothing. Feel how you want to feel. I'm not clearing up nothing. I'm not making one and one equal two for nobody. I'm not breaking down nothing for nobody. Because guess what? It, you believe in what you already wanted to believe. And the fact of the matter is the reason why you jumped on that so hard is because you was looking for something negative about me. You was looking for something, something to hate on me about. You was looking for something to try to throw in my face. You wanted me to look bad. You wanted me to be down. You wanted me to be stressed out. Some folk that's around you that's patting your hand, that's clapping for you, that's patting your back, that's saluting you and doing this, this, and this. Oh, baby, they only doing that for a certain amount of time. As soon as something is negative said about you, they're going to be the first one to share it. Be the first one to share it. Screenshot it and send it to the group chat. I want you to know it. Go outside of their way. Yeah, because some of the folk that you sent over there, you willing to sacrifice the, all of it for. They waiting on you to fail. They done dug ditches for you a long time ago. And they and the only reason why they're around you right now is because they want to be able to get front row seats to it. You thinking they there for support. You thinking they there because they love you. You thinking that they there because they want to see you do well. No, baby, I want to be, I want to have front row seats to when you fail. I want to have front row seats and when you throw in the towel, I want to see how far you really going to go. And that's the reason why you owe it to yourself to wake up every single day and work on yourself. We in a season where you got to level things off. What do you mean by that, coach? We in a season of leveling things off. That means I'm not making deposits into people that are only making withdrawals. I'm not making deposits into people that's only making withdrawals. I want you to write that down. I'm no longer making deposits into people that only make withdrawals. Baby, they ain't got no, they don't even own the deposit slip. You ask them about the deposit slip, baby, they can't even show. You ask them for a receipt for where they didn't went outside of their way and try to do anything nice for you then they can't even show you if you ask them for one time that they actually sit down and ask you if you are okay or do you need anything baby they can't even formulate a text message can't even get the sentence together hello nobody at all you here you are checking on everybody and nobody checking on you here you are giving for everybody and nobody giving for you here you are doing all this making all these sacrifices going all outside your way overly extending yourself your finances your time your energy and your effort with folk that are not willing to make the same sacrifices for you. This is leveling season. We're in a season where, guess what? I can't get you together because I got to get me. Hello, somebody. I can't fix you because I got to fix me. I can't come through for you because I got to come through for me. I am my own assignment in this season. I am my own project in this season. Ain't nobody in my life more important than me. Why? Because I can't be a good mother until I'm a good me. I can't be a good sister or auntie or wife or anything like that or even friend until I'm a good me. I only want to be attached to folk when I'm operating at a hundred percent. Yeah, that's a fact. Oh yeah, yeah. I want. I, I don't care. I want. I, I don't want. If I'm not at a hundred percent, I ain't coming. If I ain't at a hundred percent, nope, I can't stop through. If I ain't at a hundred percent, I'm not. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm not because if I'm not operating at a hundred percent, then that means that I don't have it to give. Period. Point blank. So ain't no need you coming over here in my life thinking that you about to apply no pressure. Cause baby, I'm telling you right now, pressure ain't gonna get you in here. I understand that pressure will gonna make me block you. That's what pressure gonna do. Why do you say that, coach? Because if I tell you that I'm not ready for a relationship Or I don't want no more friends Or I'm not trying to be connected to nobody And you continue to go outside of your way To try to put that pressure on me In that moment I feel like you're disrespecting my boundaries Hello somebody I want you to tap in But this right here That right there gonna go over some folk head That some folk gonna miss that Because y'all y'all think that it's cute But the truth of the matter is That's extremely toxic When a person lets you know That they don't want to be in no relationship right now That they don't have the mental capacity That they cannot do what is necessary To be in a relationship and give you what it is that you deserve and you continue to put that pressure on them you continue to run after you oh yeah with well, consistency girl they kept chasing me and i just went ahead and gave in the devil is a lie respect my no I don't care who get mad. Yeah, y'all might well see. I should have said send me a badge or a gift before I said that. Because I know some of y'all going to get mad. Because y'all made that so cute. Y'all thought that was so cute. It'd be so cute to be toxic. It'd be so cute. Yeah, I know some of y'all going to get I should. I'm sorry, friends. I should. My, 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 my regulars right here. My mods over here on TikTok. Like, why she say that before she asked for the gift? Should have asked for the gift first. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that. you ain't going to want to bless you up when you done told them something like that. Well, good morning, Shaquan. How you doing? That re Respect my no. 
Respect my no. Respect my no. That's all I'm asking you to do. Respect my no. And y'all think that it's cute that they'll go over there and they'll apply all of that pressure to try to get you in that relationship. You think that it's cute that they're not respecting your no. You think that it's cute that they still running after you. You think that it's cute. But the truth of the matter is, it's very toxic. It's very toxic. And it's, it's very thirsty. It's very, yeah, yeah, it's very toxic. It's very thirsty. And I'm trying to find out now, what is it about me that wants you, that you make you want me so bad? What is it about me that you want me even though I'm broken what is it about me that you want me even though you know that I'm not in a position to be able to give you what it is that you deserve in a relationship oh no ma'am no sir come to help with me when I'm operating at a hundred when I get to a hundred, we are told. Cause right now you disrespecting my boundaries. And yeah, you disrespecting my boundaries. That's right. So if I get into a relationship with you and I tell you know about something, the same behavior that you displayed right now, that's gonna be the, the behavior that you're gonna display in that relationship. You're gonna apply pressure because now in that moment, I'm letting you know that if you continue to come at me, if you continue to ask me, if you get into your feelings about it or get mad about it, then I will allow your mood to dictate my no. That I will allow your mood to manipulate what it is that I said, even though I know for a fact that that's what I want. So you got to be careful about these things. And this is the reason why I said, stop getting into relationships and situationships with different folks. When you know for a fact that you have not done yourself work, when you still know that you got things in your life that you got to work on, stop asking them to accept you flaws and all, because going into those relationships in a broken state will do nothing but get you used, a Abused, taking advantage of, walk like a dog, get you treated poorly. It's okay to love when you be in love correctly. It's okay to give when it's being reciprocated. It's okay to have respect as long as you're being respected. But if you know for a fact that you ain't in that type of position at this time while you're over there, get from over there. I don't know y'all 45, so I understand that some of y'all ain't my age. But baby, when back in the day, when, when our mama didn't told us about going somewhere that we ain't had no business going, tap in my elderly people that know what time it is. When they didn't told us already that we ain't got no business over there, when we didn't, they didn't told you already, that, that what, what did I just tell you? Get What they tell you? Get from over there. Get from over there. That's how they said it. Baby, it came out just like that. Get from over there. They, 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 they didn't say, come on home. They said, get from over there. And when they said, get from over there, you knew exactly what time it was. You was grabbing up your little flip-flops, baby. You was you're grabbing up your little jelly shoe, because we had jelly shoe back then. We were getting up our little jelly shoes, picking up that little red ball, get, yeah, yeah, get, making it all home. Get your little hula hoop. That's right. You want yeah, you want to do hoppy scotch? You're going to hoppy scotch over here in front of my yard. You want to do jump rope? You're going to jump rope over this way. Baby, understand, you ain't got no business over there. You're not old enough just yet you're not mature enough just yet you got to get back over here where i can watch you some of us still in a position of training you got to be watched you say yeah yeah I, i'm in training right now i'm in boot camp right now my boot campers y'all know what time it is baby y'all told boot camp up i said 600 y'all almost at 630 folk open that boot camp patreon if you're not in my patreon you're not in my boot camp my 90 day boot camp baby you doing yourself a disservice they wake up every morning tapping in they already know the drill we doing morning routines we reading we fasting we meditating we setting aside time to practice good self-care oh baby we're not playing in boot camp if you're not in boot camp Oh, baby, that's on you. Baby, get on over here. I'm in training right now. I can't afford it. What type of season is it? It's selfish season. That's what it is. Real me-ish around here. If it ain't got nothing to do with me, I ain't making it have nothing to do with me. I'm not taking care of nobody but me. Not doing nothing but replenishing me. Resetting me. Understand that. That's right. I, I, I got to do it. I owe it to myself. I got to reset. I got to replenish. Uh-huh. And sometimes you got to readjust, too. Yeah, sometimes you got to readjust. That, and, and it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you got to readjust, baby. And it's, it, the link is in my bio. Go to my bio where it says Link Tree Street. Click that link, slide down to it where it says Patreon and get subscribed. But y'all, I got to go because I got to go up in here and get my lashes done. But I wanted to jump on here and I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick because that, that was bothering your coach, honey. That was bothering me. It was sitting on me. I'm like, yo, stop asking people to accept you flaws and all. Stop asking people to do that right there because every time that happens, what you're doing is putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation. You're putting 
putting yourself in a situation where you're gonna be used you're gonna be taken advantage of you're gonna be disrespected you're gonna be walked like a dog fix what you need to fix in your life handle your adult business before you try to connect with somebody else stop trying to get together with other people until you get together with yourself it's okay if them folk genuinely love you they gonna come around if them people really want that relationship with you wait till you get yourself together first and then move, move you on over into that situation stop attaching yourself to people prematurely okay like no you all listen to yourself and then you wondering why they don't respect you because all i had to do was add pressure and you let me in why you wondering why they walk you like a dog because all i had to do is add pressure and you let me in the devil is a lie and stop running after people that need you you need my help i don't need you baby i was happy before i met you you laying up on my couch eating up all my churn fr fruit snacks over here yeah i got to drop you off and pick you off from work why in the world am i stressed out and having all these issues with somebody that i gotta help no ma'am no sir hello somebody stop running after people that don't even deserve you I ain't got time to be playing with folk today, but I got to go, y'all. But if I motivated you, if I inspired you, if I lifted your spirits in any way, like I said, I got to go in here real quick. Y'all do me a favor. Send me some love. I got about three minutes. I got three minutes. If y'all don't mind, send me some love. Uh, send me a badge or two IG. It's your favorite online motivational speaker, your favorite online personality. It's your girl, Street Poet. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self love and you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else man you guys have an amazing amazing wednesday and guess what i want to say this to all the beautiful ladies baby it is why um, um women course wednesday and i'm crushing on all of y'all i want y'all to have a beautiful day today i want you to make your day your great make it great understand have your day your way if you woke up this morning and you was feeling tired i want you to shake back if you woke up and you wasn't in position this morning i want you to shake back i want you to walk away from this video understanding that you matter understanding that you are more than enough okay i want you guys to enjoy the rest of y'all day like i said i will not be live on friday due to me traveling coach got to get all her stuff together so we can head to new york shout out to everybody that have purchased their tickets for new york we are completely sold out thank you guys for the support the next stop is going to be may 27th in miami so if you have not got your tickets for miami go on that event bright and get your tickets because when i say they sell out fast y'all see what i mean they sell out i got people inboxing me dming me right now asking for tickets but baby we are completely sold out i want to tell you guys that i love you i love you i love you you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day oh man listen y'all on a story time y'all almost at 500k y'all was not playing y'all was not playing all right man y'all have a good day man i gotta run in here